The things in the world around us are either solids, liquids or gases. For example, we know that a rock and ice are solids, oil and water are liquids, and air is a gas. But what about a substance makes it a solid, liquid or gas? We can tell solids, liquids and gases apart by looking at how their volume and their shape can vary. The volume of a thing means how much space it takes up, or what size it is. For example, an elephant has both a big mass and also occupies a big volume. But although a hot air balloon is lighter than an elephant, it takes up more space. Its volume is bigger. This means that mass and volume are different things. We can measure mass in kilograms and volume in litres. The shape of something refers to the geometry of its surfaces. A sphere is a kind of three-dimensional circle. The surfaces of a cube are all at right angles to each other. And this rock is quite irregular. Let's look at how we can change the volume or shape of solids, liquids and gases. Can we change the volume of a solid? Try squashing a rock. Not doable. They can't be squeezed into a smaller space. They're incompressible. Can we change its shape? Try bending a rock. Not doable either. Solids have both a fixed volume and a fixed shape. Their fixed volume and shape means that solids are rigid. Can we change the volume of a liquid? Here's a beaker with a volume of 200 millilitres of water in it. Does the volume become larger or smaller when we pour it into a flask? Trick question. It's still 200 millilitres, so its volume hasn't changed. How about its shape? In the flask, the water is the shape of a cone, same as the shape of the flask. When we pour the water back into the beaker, its shape becomes cylindrical, same as the beakers. The shape of a liquid changes to match the shape of the container it's in. This means that liquids have a fixed volume, but a changeable shape. Water's weight and changeable shape makes it find the lowest place in its container. As the water reaches the lip of the flask, there's nothing to hold it back, and its weight pulls it outside the flask and downwards in a stream. Water's changeable shape enables it to flow. That's why liquids are called fluids. Can we change the volume of a gas? You bet. Here's a syringe with 50 millilitres of air inside and sealed at its tip so that it can't escape. When we push on the plunger, we can squeeze it into a smaller volume. When we pull on the plunger, the volume expands. This means that a gas can both compress and expand to fill the entire container. Because they also have a changeable shape, they can flow and take the shape of the container they're in. Here, we're changing the shape of air inside a balloon. Easy. Gases have both a changeable volume and a changeable shape. Because they can flow, Gases are also fluids. We can usually change a substance from a solid into a liquid and then into a gas by heating it up and make it go back to a liquid and then into a solid again by cooling it down. 
For example, putting water into your freezer will turn it into solid ice when it cools to zero degrees Celsius. Once it's frozen, the ice will get even colder and might get down to minus 20 degrees Celsius inside your freezer. That's 20 degrees below zero. And different substances freeze at different temperatures. For example, we only have to cool a substance called glycerol down to 17 degrees Celsius in order to freeze it. This means it might be a liquid during the day when it's hot and a solid at night when it's cold. If you warm the ice, it'll melt back into water at zero degrees Celsius. Notice how the temperature that water freezes and then melts again are the same temperature. Your tap water at home is typically about 20 degrees Celsius. Heating it to 100 degrees Celsius will make it boil into gaseous steam. Again, different substances boil at different temperatures. If we cool steam down, it will turn back into liquid water again at 100 degrees Celsius. This is called condensation. Again, a substance condenses at the same temperature that it boils. Of all the states, we can see that gases are the hottest and that solids are the coldest. Melting from a solid to a liquid, boiling from a liquid to a gas, condensing from a gas to a liquid, and freezing from a liquid back into a solid are all examples of a change of state.